So my background, yeah, I grew up in the church. Um, I mean, my parents both worked at the church. My mom was the worship director for, uh, I don't know, 15 years or so. Um, my dad was an executive pastor. And so, yeah, I grew up there. I grew up in a town of 300, one stop sign in Morris, Iowa. Um, our church had 700 people. And my parents were involved in the church. My dad was on the welcoming committee. And my mom was on the praise team. She played guitar. So we, we met. That was kind of a, a key point in my life because uh, at that point, I was just kind of hanging with the dudes and you know partying every night, that kind of stuff. So once we met and um, especially once it became more serious, like that gave me a reason not to just hang with the dudes and drink every night. <laughs> so I had started going to a gym the forged athlete, uh, and I ended up meeting um, quite a few people, but uh, Andy and Kelsey Wolf, who um, I started going to their small group before we ended up coming to Waypoint. So our first day there um, was January 22, 2017, my first day. You had already been there once because I had to work. So when we were in the parking lot walking into the church, I like um, all of a sudden had this like crazy stomach pain. I felt like I was like all of a sudden I stopped when I was walking like I couldn't go anymore. And I was like that's really weird because I don't ever get stomach pain like whatever. Went into church, started worshiping and um, the worship was just amazing. And all of a sudden I just like felt this crazy um, tingling, warm, sensation and I explain it like the little mermaid when she like gets her voice back like <laughs> that's how I felt um and I was just like this is crazy I don't know what this is and um had a great service went home that day um actually had to go to work that night so I went to work and I got super sick and I was like I, I don't I don't ever get the sick get sick I don't ever get the flu and um I thought I had like the 24-hour flu, but it was actually the Lord ridding me of my addiction to cigarettes. And that's the last day I smoked. Alcohol became a really big thing in my life. And, and it, it never really got like too bad between us, but it really, I, like, I just knew like, hey man, if I continue down this path, like this is the path of destruction. Um, and it was just, uh, it was a void. And, and it was just a way of filling that void. And, and so I'll never forget, I mean, there was one night where um, yeah, I mean, I was just, I was blitzed, blitzed out of my mind. Um, but I knew like, hey, this has to end. And so at that point, I, uh, I just opened up my Bible. I opened to Matthew 17, 20, um, where it talks about having faith as small as a mustard seed. Um, and so I just read that and in tears, I just like put my face in the Bible and I was just like, God, like, you have to change me like I can't do it and like honestly like if you want to that's surrender um, and I, I just said God I can't do this like you have to change me life is so much better with Jesus like I don't know how we did it without him before like it's just so much better and it doesn't need to be hard like he's your friend he's there you just need to talk to him he already knows everything but he finds so much joy when you talk to him. So just talk to him like you would anybody. It's just, it's just so much better. I was convinced um, much through my life that I was running away from God. Um, and, and God was fine with that. Like, he's just like, I was just running away and the gap was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and so it, it was more like, <laughs> man, getting back to God's gonna be so much more difficult. Um, because I've, I've gone so far. And I would say there was definitely a level of, of callousness to my heart that increased, but I'll tell you what, the distance between God and me never increased. Like, I was running this way and God was running this way. <laughs> like, He was always there pursuing me. He was always there just waiting. Like, just saying, dude, I'm, I'm right here. You're not in the distance, you're not far away. All you have to do is turn to me tell me you love me and I love you. And, and so if there's anyone who needs to hear that, it's the truth. Like I felt so, I felt so unworthy. Um, I just felt so distant. I just felt so far away 
but like God had, he pursued me so hard, so many times, like just more than I deserved, but he doesn't care. He just wanted to be there. He just wants to be the father. He wants to be in relationship with us. Um, so if that's you, like, just, just like turn around. He's right there. Like you don't, it's not a track back. He's right there.